watch that game tonight. I'm not sure it's going to be a lot harder. Game's at 5.20, I think. I think it's 5.20. Okay. still here. Look like, oh, well, PG's got a whole, if they look at that, they got, they're ready to go. That mobile thing, I haven't seen that before. Yeah, this Rubble is, um, here. Uh, South Foster Freeze is gone. Hooch Hut stands. Craig Drebert's automotive is still here. Um, this is the, this was the maintenance yard for the, uh, I think, for the POSD buses and stuff. That's all gone. This used to be Paradise Elementary right in here. It's gone. It's all gone. Um, you, if you look down there, you can see the Paris Intermediate is still there. You, you know, show that down there. That's still down there. And and um, see, it's down there. There's Paradise Intermediate standing. So is the gym. And uh, uh, Swag Oil Change is still here. So is the CNJ Service Center. So is. Um, this building next to this gone. I think that was an old school there. Um, this and Golden Oak Museum is gone. That area down, I think those homes down there didn't survive down either too. Dell Dell's Plaza is up. Ridge Transmissions is here. I mean, if you were to go up there, you could probably see it. Um, the school is there, but the church for PAA is gone. So. Streets there. This is the uh, Sierra Gym Company. It's gone. Used to be Colonial T. That's gone. Goodwill Tile is here. Uh, Pearson Road Collision Repair is here. Uh, this used to be Mike Zagalillo's business. I think he owned one of these here. Plus, and then here's the gone, gone, gone. And then, you know, obviously, you can see the rest of this. The, the big old tires just in there. opposite kind of view of it. Um,
it's just earth and concrete. Yeah, you can see that the Union 76 is gone. And, you know, we want, we can drive down Neil all the way out and get us out to Highway 32. How's that sound? Because we've been, uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Highway 32, Highway 99. Now we're on Neil. Yep, Neil going towards Highway 99. Go by the dump and all that so you can see.
was down here in 2008 and I was shooting the, uh, I think it was Nick Baker, I did a little video camera. And I remember shooting right down here in Fonbro, Fon Ridge. There's, there's a couple houses up Fon Ridge, look like they're standing. I remember shooting a bunny rabbit running through here as the fire was burning um, this way. Um, so what do we do? Here we go. That's McCann Drive is one of the houses in the Yeah, this area got hit again. Building with the signs is so chills by itself. Wow. Sort of a spur of the moment uh, tour of uh, the damage in paradise from the campfire. That's uh, Monday, November 12th, 2018. Uh, my name is Andre Bayek with the Chico Enterprise Record. I'm a reporter there, and I've been joined by the editor of the Paradise Post, Rick Silva. So Rick, after driving, uh, I wouldn't call it a comprehensive look, but uh, probably a longer look than, than either of us have been able to, right. to I, observe so far. Yeah. What did, has anything changed uh, your opinion on? No, it hasn't. I'll tell you though, it's I've been up there four times trying to get it with my phone and get people their impressions and and see things, see what's going on. And I just how many times you drive through, you just can't really take in and, you know, basically absorb the whole magnitude of, of, of what you see because, you know, we use the word war zone a lot, but you, it does look like a war zone. It looks like this whole town got bombed. And this doesn't even count what we saw in Lower Miguelia over the weekend I went there. It was in South, in South Park, West Park Drive, Andover area. It's been hit hard. Um, and it doesn't count what we've seen potentially in Concow. What we've seen in the Polka area, what we could potentially see in the, on the on the 70 side. So this is just a massive fire, and it hit probably the largest population center on the on the of the ridges in New County, and it it almost literally decimated the whole town. I mean, is that fair to say? <laughs> you can't drive down one street uh, without seeing some damage. At least the streets that we drove down. Right. E even though we took, we e even even log the vista away, you got through the, mo the first part of it, and there was nothing build building standing. But as you drove further in and got further towards the canyon side, you saw damage. You saw homes gone, and um, there just isn't any way to understand how fire works. I mean, it has its own behavior. Obviously, it's been known to cause its own weather. But sometimes you wonder if it just picks out certain homes to hit. You know, because how does it, how does it, I guess there's no real way to make sense of that, right? Experts know more than I do. Right. Fire experts. And, and this is, when I was down on, uh, off of uh, 
eel in 99 the other day when it lit me up. I saw all this area on fire. I could see it coming our way, my way, and I thought, my gosh. My gosh. Um, this is Nance Canyon. There's, this area is for sale, uh, potentially for some kind of development, but I'm not sure that's going to happen anytime soon. I mean, see these white spots, if you can't really see them on the camera. Those white spots, I think that shows you how hot it burned in certain places, right? I mean, for the term white hot, right? I, I think that's, I mean, it's hot. This thing is unbelievably. We're coming towards the dump now, right? We'll see what kind of, I believe it was able to escape the, look at this car with the door open. terrifying would that be? This is the dump. It avoided that, didn't burn that. And it looks like it, it did burn part of the dump, it looks like, from what I can see. Or maybe not, it just looks like it did. Maybe it did. There's a lot of, a lot of the infrastructure in the dump, so the dump is it did burn around it. It looked like that got burned. Yep, burned. Look at this. How did it skip? This area here must have slowed it down, right? You know, given it, you know, it didn't have a lot of fuel in here to take off. It has it over here, right? It'd be interesting to see how close it got in Durham. Or if it did, you yeah. know. All the way down the Highway 99, and all we've seen is fire damage. Right. No, no I did not. Yeah, that was did nothing but. Um, wow. This is one of the outlets where people are fleeing. Exactly. The early hours. And you can see how the fire got down here. And it didn't get, I was, I was long gone before it got to this part, but I was here on the other side watching it burn this way, and I knew it was going to get here. The question is, where were they able to make their stand and stop the fire, right? I mean, where did they stop the fire? If they, you know, I mean, it looks like from what we can see right now, we haven't looked over the, burned over there, it looks like it didn't, it didn't jump from here to that side of 99. Looks like it's got stopped right here somehow. tried to take me. I couldn't go. <laughs> so it looks like it burned this way. Look at this. I wonder how far this way it got. I'm going to sign off here. Okay, good. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.